Hey there everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have the Kiss Salon Deep Professional Dipping System and this is everything that is included. I'm gonna go ahead and open it for you guys. I purchased this kit on Walmart. This is available to anyone, even though that the package says professional. First we have the activator. Second is the dipping tray. It looks like a whole nail will fit in here, probably not too long. Next, I have the brush on gel. This is gonna be used as top coat as well. And it dries pretty fast. And this is the actual powder, the acrylic powder. I'm gonna open it and show you the color. This is a very fine powder. Usually dipping powders are fine, so the application goes smoother. And it's like a copper pink. I was hoping for a clear uh, powder because if I'm gonna do French uh, manicure, I don't want to see any pink on the white part. I just want the French tips to be white. But this is what we have, so I'm gonna be working with this. Next, I have a dusting a sponge. And we have extra brushes in case the one in the brush on gel hardens. And here we have the nail tips. We have natural and white. And they are pretty curvy, so hopefully they look good on the nails. Let me open these nail tips to show you guys how exactly they look. At least they're nice and organized in this pack. Whoops! <laughs> Talking about organized, I made a mess. Okay, let me pick up all this mess here, but in the meanwhile, I'll show you they are pretty curvy and they feel pretty sturdy too as well. So let me pick up this mess and I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, and next we have the list of the ingredients, the instructions, a double side file and a small orange stick to push the cuticle that I dropped there somewhere. <laughs> and these are the instructions and I'm gonna go ahead and read this uh, carefully. I just wanna make sure that I don't miss any steps. I always say that and I always end up doing something that is not in the instructions. <laughs> but you guys, if you guys purchase this kit, Please go ahead and read the instructions and it comes in different languages. First, I'm going to be choosing my nail tip sizes and the nail tip sizes number shows on the back of the tip right here. Next is the natural nail prep. Starting by pushing my cuticles. My nails are already pretty much prepped from the previous set. But if I have to do that, that will be with the orange stick. And as well, removing the shine from the natural nail with the darker side of the file. And this will be a very gentle filing to avoid damaging the natural nail. And dehydrating and cleaning the nails with acetone or alcohol. And the next step will be attaching the nail tips. But before that, I'm gonna be applying a peel-off base coat. And my favorite has to be the Macar peel-off base gel. This one needs to be cured under a UV lamp. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the sticky layer from the peel-off base gel because this one does have an sticky layer. Next is gonna be gluing the nail tips using the brochon gel as a nail glue and applying a small amount inside the nail tip well. Having some issues because I have a peel off paste gel. And as you will see here, I wasn't able to glue the nail tip this way. So I decided to apply base gel and clean the sticky layer and buff a little bit of the coat to see if I was successful attaching the nail tip, but that wasn't working. So I decided guys just to clean everything on my nail, the base coat and everything and give it one more try directly on my natural nail, the way it's supposed to be. I cleaned my natural nail very well, 
and I clean the inside of the nail tip as well for any old residues of the glue and I even clean it with a drill as you can see here just to make sure everything was nice and fresh and then I gave it another try with the brush on gel and that wasn't working so I'm not sure exactly what happened here if something went wrong but it didn't work for me as nail glue so I just decided to go ahead and use a regular nail glue. I have a very good one from Amazon, from Model Ones, and that one worked very well. Okay guys, I'm done with applying the nail tips and now I'm gonna go ahead and look at the next step. And the next step is to trim to the desired length and reshape or file the nail tips as, as you're liking. And that's what I'm doing here. I don't wanna go too long because even just to apply the deep powder, it will be easier on shorter nails. Once I was done with the video guys, I realized that I should have planted the nail tip with the nail file a little bit more with my natural nail. The next step is the application of the dipping powder. I'm putting the whole container inside the dipping tray. It actually fits in here. And with the brush on gel, applying an even layer to the whole nail, avoiding to touch the skin. I'm gonna dip the whole nail inside the dipping tray, making sure that it goes all the way to the cuticle area. And I'm gonna leave the nail a few seconds just to make sure that the powder attaches. I will tap the excess and I'll continue to the next nail. I ended up applying three layers in total guys because the nails were very uneven and I was trying to fix them. <laughs> so now I went ahead with the activator. The activator is gonna make sure that the acrylic hardens and is ready for filing. So I'm gonna give this a few minutes to dry.
while the activator was drying, I was just organizing the working area here. And as you can see how easy it is to put the powder back into the container directly from the tray. That's very handy. And next I'm gonna continue into the filing and the provided file wasn't really doing much for this acrylic. It actually hardens a lot. <laughs> so I had to get one of my own files and try to reshape these nails as best as I could. During the filing, I noticed, guys, that the acrylic wasn't cured properly in some spots. I'm not sure what happened exactly, but I applied more activator to make sure that everything cures properly. And once it did, the acrylic hardened so much that to file was a struggle. <laughs> it was so hard to file these nails. But then I continued and I did the best I could with reshaping, to be honest. This acrylic was so hard it hardens so much not sure exactly why this acrylic is so difficult to file but it happened to me so i just continue and i did the best i could after a while i just give up guys i'm not filing any more these nails <laughs> i'm just gonna leave them the way they are i'm just gonna put some decoration or something to make them look better and i'm done <laughs> that's it i'm done for today with the filing <laughs> According to the instructions, once I'm done with the reshaping and filing, I'm supposed to apply another layer of the activator, and that's what I'm doing here. And that will be the last layer. And next, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the brush on gel as top coat and let it air dry for a few minutes. And this is how the nails are looking right now guys after the final top coat this is has to be air dry for a few minutes and i'm not very happy with the final result <laughs> because i couldn't reshape them properly and as well the uh, french tips they are kind of straight they don't even have like an arch as a french tip it looks more like french tip for around the 70s or something like that <laughs> So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some stickers to try to cover up the mistakes. <laughs> and these stickers, once I apply them, I realize that they look like my grandma's curtains. <laughs> Nothing wrong with my grandma's curtains, <laughs> but, but they are again from the 70s maybe. So I match it. I match the flowers with the nails from the 70s, <laughs> 70s style. <laughs> oh my, okay. I just had a blast doing this video and I had to laugh at myself because <laughs> I can't be mad. I'm just trying to do the best I can here with these videos. Try to show you guys that sometimes nail kits at home are not that easy to do actually. <laughs> but I guess with a little bit of practice and patience, everything can be done.
And this is the final result for today, guys. The nails came out very cute for the 70s. <laughs> and I don't hate this kit. It's just a lot of practice and patience when you are doing kits at home and following the instructions very carefully. But besides that, I guess it's a kit that can be used at home and you can get some nails to go. You just have to be very patient, very patient. <laughs> Thank you so much again for being here and you have a nice day guys and I'll see you in the next video.